I'd like to say thanks to Athletic Director Matt Larson and our Senior Associate Athletic Director and our Sports Supervisor Troy Gargan for their continuous support of NDSU Bison Soccer. And lastly, big thanks to Senior Associate Athletic Director and Senior Women Administrator Colleen Heimstead and Director of Compliance Clyde Presswood for making sure us and our commits were all ready to go today. And also Ryan Anderson, our Sport Information Director, for uh, putting together our press release and our graphics. So. With that said, um, I'm proud to announce uh, this year's 2018 class. Uh, we have a tremendous group of young people who will be continuing their education at North Dakota State University and joining our program. Um, this class possesses all of the qualities that's gonna make them successful Bison student athletes. Uh, high character, quality, skill, uh, competitive attitude, and an academic profile that exceeds our expectations. So with that, um, we'll go through our class. Um, Allison Cole, a goalkeeper from Andover, Minnesota, of Andover High School. Um, she's a big, strong keeper. Uh, she loves to compete. Uh, I love working with her. She's been to our camp. Uh, her attitude is fantastic. She's always pushing herself and looking to improve. Uh, Claire Grazzini, another goalkeeper from Chaska, Minnesota. Uh, Claire plays the game the right way, uh, has a willingness to prepare, and will immediately improve our training environment. Sydney Johnson, a forward from St. Michael, Minnesota, of Buffalo High School. Uh, Sydney's a pacey forward who I'm really looking forward to watching run at back lines in the Summit League. And I think her versatility along the forward position is going to help her score many goals throughout her career. Uh, Deanna Lemire, midfielder from Ham Lake, Minnesota of Blaine High School. Uh, Dee's a great athlete who's gritty and tough. Uh, she's got the physical tools to be successful within our program. And then Lauren Rozak is a midfielder from Invergrove Heights, Minnesota of Egan High School. Uh, Lauren's got a great motor and work rate. She's exactly the type of the person we were looking for during the recruiting process. We're excited for her to join us this fall. Uh, Danielle Stuber, a defender from Woodbury, Minnesota, uh, of Woodbury High School as well. Uh, Danny's a technical defender who I've seen immense growth from over the past couple years. She'll fit in greatly with our stout defensive core. So uh, that is our class. Um, and currently here for the Bison Women's Soccer Program, we're starting a new chapter uh, under our new head coach, Mike Regan. Um, I know he's excited to be here, but unfortunately, the flu had other ideas for him today. Um, so I'm sure you'll have an opportunity to hear from him soon. Um, he's officially been with us for just under a week, and we're really excited uh, for his leadership. Coach Regan's enthusiasm is contagious, and his genuine care for the student athlete, and along with his vision for the program, um, is, gonna, is evident his, we're going to be successful for many years to come. Um, so with that said, does anybody have any questions about our 2018 class? One is how did the coaching turnover um, affect this class or how did you guys handle that with these young ladies? Um, you know, in women's soccer, the recruiting process is pretty early. So we've been communicating with these young people for about two years. And um, so they've been committed to us for, for a long time. And uh, we just made sure that as soon as Mark resigned and, and then we got a new head coach in place that Mike was able to communicate with them that we still wanted them to be here and be a part of the NDSU soccer family. Um, there was some transition, but that happens in a coaching change. But, you know, the kids that we have signing today and uh, that will be joining our program, we're really excited about. It was a bit of a sore spot early in the year last year. How much of an impact can Sydney make right away for you? I think she has an opportunity to join our forward core that's returning and be impactful. You know, I know that Mike's going to come in and we're going to put an emphasis on trying to put the ball in the back of the net. And, um, you know, it'll be great to have her up front. Some goalkeepers in this one, too. It seemed I mean, you got two goalkeepers here. You didn't have many on the roster at the end of last season. Correct. Yep. We had two last fall, and then we graduated one. So um, you always want to have plenty because it really, uh, really contributes to the training environment. You know, you can get after each other and have multiple goalkeepers. You don't have to worry about grinding one into the ground or anything like that with lots of reps. So, no, we're really excited about it 